Hi, I am Dr. Jyoti Patil, Senior Fertility Consultant, Obstetrician and Gynecologist. I practice at Birthright by Rainbow Hospital, Marathali as Chief Fertility Consultant and I am a Clinical Director of Janani Fertility and Gyne Care which is situated in ACS Layout B Block, Marathali, Bangalore. Today I am here to discuss about low AMH levels and its implication about fertility. See, what is an AMH? It's called as an anti-mullerian hormone. It's basically a blood test. At the initial checkup, that is on day to day 3, when we evaluate the couple for fertility treatment, we basically do a scan along with certain hormone blood tests and AMH is one of them. It's a marker of your ovarian reserve. Ovarian reserve is nothing but that where do you stand on a fertility scale. As women, we should know that the age is very important to us compared to men. Men are very lucky. They can have their own sperm production once in three months, which we do not have. So whatever number of eggs we are using, these are there from the time of our birth. These are the number of eggs which are there in our ovaries and we are utilizing it. Every month there is an egg release. In an order for one good egg to get released, there will be thousands of other eggs get wasted in this process. So our age is very important and as we age like 35, so once after 35, our pregnancy chances goes on decreasing. That indirectly shows that our number of eggs are coming down. So what might be the reasons for our AMH being low? Normally, the AMH value should be in between 2.2 to 4 nanogram per ml. Anything less than that is considered as low AMH or low ovarian reserve. The reason being, as I mentioned, age. Is there is any exposure to any radiotherapy? Is there any cancer survivors who have underwent chemotherapy? Any operations on the ovary? any ovarian cysts which have been taken out, any pelvic infections, any autoimmune disorders, all these can contribute to a low AMH. Smoking. Smoking is the main prime factor. See, smoking has got effects on both on female and on male infertility. In females, the smoking causes low AMH. It drastically reduces your number of eggs left behind. And in males, it reduces the sperm motility. So, I'll be discussing about the importance of low AMH and fertility. I want you to understand that low AMH is not the reason for being infertile. Low AMH just implies that your ovarian reserve is less and you might require little more dosage of injections or little more treatment in terms of an ovulation induction or in terms of an IUI or for an IVF compared to others with a normal AMH level. So what are the treatment options available for women with having low AMH? The first thing is what is the age of the wife and also how long been married. If the married life is one or two years and not taken any sort of fertility treatment, start with basic ovarian stimulation or ovulation induction, which gives a chance of 10% chance of pregnancy in each month. After one or two cycles of ovulation induction, then can try for intrauterine insemination or artificial insemination, which gives around 20 to 25% chance of pregnancy. Even if it fails, the next comes for an IVF. IVF gives you around 50 to 60% chance of pregnancy. And in the scan, if we see like there are only few number of follicles, then it is the last resort is to go for a donor one, that is a donor oocyte IVF. So after one or two cycles of IUI, if there is no pregnancy, next comes an IVF. So in an IVF, when the number of eggs are less, there is something called as an egg pooling, wherein we do a couple of cycles of IVF. Like if you have only one follicle, we start giving injections for that follicle to grow and take and do an egg pickup. Mix with husband's sperm, make it an embryo and freeze it. One more cycle of an IVF. In this way, we can do at least till we get two to three embryos and then transfer the embryos, which gives around 50 to 60 percent chance of pregnancy. In spite of that, if there is no pregnancy, then the last resort is going for a donor oocyte. That is called as a donor will come, will give injections to the donor, will do an egg pickup from the donor, mix with the husband's sperm of the recipient and transfer the embryos into the recipient's uterus. So this gives us 70 to 75 percent chance of pregnancy. And here at Janani Fertility, we have been getting around 70 to 75 percent chance of pregnancy in all the cycles. Thank you.